Local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We talked about the Dallas flooding earlier in the newscast. I want to actually now give you the numbers because the numbers are quite impressive. They have seen over, and this is just at the Dallas airport, over nine inches of rain in the last 24 hours. They actually had an eight inch rainfall deficit prior to this deluge. And in addition to that, water rescues continue today and may continue over the next 24 hours or so. Just to give you some perspective, in Dallas, since Sunday, 9.02 inches of rain. In Roanoke, since July the 9th, we've had just under 7 inches of rain. And mind you, we've had a lot of rain here since July 9th. This just gives you as to how much rain has fallen over the last roughly 24 to 36 hours in the greater Dallas area. And Dallas has gone from one extreme to the other. Prior to this rain event, prior to August the 9th, they had 67 straight dry days. They were in extreme drought. Now they've gone from that to significant flooding on August the 22nd. Again, anywhere between about 7 to up to 10 inches of rain. Talking about us here locally, things have quieted down after what was a day where we had more hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. Told you about those showers in Charlotte and Halifax counties earlier on. We have a couple of showers right now in Giles County, also up north in the parts of the southern Shenandoah and Allegheny Highlands. But I would say no later than 8, 9 o'clock this evening, we're going to completely dry things out and perhaps have a little bit of fog developing later tonight. Otherwise, Tuesday at 7 a.m., we're going to be dry with skies partly to mostly sunny. We're going to hold on to those mainly sunny skies skies at dinner time tomorrow. Tomorrow night, nothing worse than partly cloudy. Maybe a stray shower towards the southern Shenandoah tomorrow night. Otherwise, on Wednesday, we look to be dry again with more sunshine than cloud cover in the forecast. Tuesday, Wednesday look very, very quiet, but then the upper level pattern is such that we're going to have a uh, upper level low get closer to us later this week. That will allow for uh, seasonable warmth and seasonable amounts of humidity, but it's also going to bring us a better chance for some hit or miss thunder showers as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Not one day looks to be a washout. Saturday out of those three days could potentially be the wettest one for us, but even then it's only about a 40 to 50% chance for some scattered thunder showers. Right now it's 79 in Withville, 80 in Blacksburg, 86 in Roanoke, 85 in Lynchburg, lower 80s in South Boston. Simply put, where you have been dry for the last couple of hours, you're warmer. Where you've gotten wet here recently, you're a little bit cooler. For tonight, a few showers, maybe a stray storm through the early evening hours, and some fog may form. Overnight lows between about 58 and 65. Three day zone by zone forecast showing highs in the low to mid 80s in the NRV for the next three days. Temperatures in Covington and Clifton Forge in the mid to upper 80s. Obviously, you'll be a little bit cooler towards Hot Springs and Monterey. South side, you're in the upper 80s to perhaps close to 90, with perhaps Wednesday looking to be the hottest of the next three days. And in Lynchburg, you are looking at a stray shower or thunder shower Thursday, pop up thunder showers Friday, hit or miss activity Saturday into Sunday. And across the Roanoke Valley, you're looking at highs in the mid to upper 80s through Friday. Then we're 80 to 85 Saturday through Monday.